video. In this video, I am going to discuss about the books for this subject TPR that is Disability Prevention and Rehabilitation. by A. Sundar. Now I have with me the third edition. You can follow also the current or the fourth edition. Right? The second book was the Bradham's Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Right? This book was used to so have uh, so I have divided the book in two parts. The first part contained all the processes and processes and the second part contained all the diseases and the management. Right? And the third book is the Neuro Sulima, right? Six or seventh edition, which you will like. Now, these are the books that I followed for DPR. Now, topic was discussion, right? The first important topic is the impairment, disability, and handicap, their definition and relationship. For this, the Sundar book will be enough. But if you want to know more in details, you can follow the who articles about this. If you want the article, you can join my Telegram channel also. I will upload the article in that channel. The second topic is the disability prevention. Now there is primary prevention, secondary prevention and tertiary prevention. Now both of these you will find in the Sundar book but you can also check online articles for a detailed knowledge right now the present rehabilitation services for this you can also follow the Sundar book but I will also recommend you follow the MSJ and B that is the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment website for the latest update right for legislations of rehabilitation services, again you can follow this Sundar book. There are many apps that are given in a descriptive manner in that book. But I will also suggest you go and search the internet for the specific app like PWD app, RPWD app, which comes more in your exams, and take notes from the articles from various websites like Vikaspedia you can follow, you can follow the Wikipedia, you can follow the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment website and so on. Right? You make your own note and write it in the examination. Now, rehabilitation team, its members, their role, contribution of social worker towards rehabilitation, vocational evaluation, goals for disabled, role of vocational counselor. All of this you will get in the Sundar book and that will be more than sufficient. Now, principle of communication and its problems. Under this, there are speech production, communication disorder secondary to brain damage, aphasia, dysphagia, its treatment, evaluating language, dysarthria, non aphasic language disorders. For this, you can follow this Sundar book. Yes, that is there. Also, I would recommend you to follow the any of your physiology book that you have studied in your first year and also this Suleiman book there is a specific chapter dedicated for this topic and the topic is given there is described more elaborately so you can follow the Suleiman book now architectural barriers for architectural barriers I think this is important that you know all the reasons behind the architectural modification that takes place to avoid the barriers. Now if you follow the Sundar book, there is more of the data and less of the pictures and also it is difficult for me to remember it for a long time. Yes, if you mark up all the data and all, it will be good for your short term memory. You can easily mark up the details and you can write in your examination but if you want to keep the details more for longer time period I would suggest you go to the YouTube and search 
US access board that is United States of America access board that is a specific channel I will also give you the link of the channel in the description box now you will find there all the animation for these architectural barriers not only that we will give a detailed idea why the architectural modifications are taking place like that right and if you see the video you will get a proper idea about the measurements that are taken now for community health you can follow the wikipedia the sundar book right and you can also follow the articles like times of india articles uh, Hindustan times and more of the articles newspaper for giving an input of the current changes right when you are writing your examination now the most important topic in my opinion in this subject is the processes and orthosis part. Now for processes and orthosis, I mainly followed the Sullivan book and the Bradham's book, right? You can also follow the Sundar book, right? For upper and lower extremity orthosis, I found it more interesting in the Bradham's book. For, for processes, I found the book Sullivan more interesting. But in Sullivan, there are only the lower extremity orthosis are given. So to get an idea about the upper extremity processes, I would recommend you follow the Sundar book, right? You can also follow some slide share slides because what I have seen, you know, there are very good slide shares in this topic. Now, in this, there is also ambulatory aids and assistive devices, POP cast techniques, simple screen techniques, low cost thermolabile material for construction of orthosis. For this specific few topics, these are not important in my opinion because very few questions come and also in very gap in the previous year papers, right? So if you can follow the Atlas of Prosthetics and Orthotics book, which are mainly followed by the P and O students, that is the Prosthetic and Orthotics students. So if you have any friend in that field, I would recommend you to ask your friend about the books and where you can get the notes for this specific topics. Now, now the final topic is the professional ethics and I think it is important for all of the students, those who are watching the video because in your upcoming practice, you should know what and how to behave with your patient, what to do and what not to do. So it is important. For this, I would recommend you to go to the APTA website, that is, that is the American Physical Therapy Association website and search the professional ethics form from there. There are different details about the ethics you should follow in your clinics, right? So yeah, that concludes our video and I hope you like this video and if you do, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon for future updates. You can also join my Telegram channel, link will be given in the description below. Thank you so much.